You both brought up some interesting points. Mm -hmm. Thanks for weighing in. Okay. Doing impersonations is lots of fun, so let's keep the fun going. Will, my little itty bitty darling, my dear, you do a great <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger impression, but we both know it can be even better. So open up that impression optimization folder. Let's put your Arnold impression through the paces and see if we can't get it to the next level. This is impression optimization four. Arnold Schwarzenegger, begin. I fucking love these, dude. Impressions can always get better. Yeah, sure. Okay, so. <laughs> You're offended. No, I'm not offended. I'm just saying, like, you know, the the the, the, yeah. the guy Your wrote Your Schwarzenegger's in, perfect. I get it. I've been doing that fucking thing since the guy mentioned Mad TV there. I used yeah. to be on the sketch show there, and I do a bunch. Yeah, sure. I do in person. I did Arnold Schwarzenegger, but Dudesy says we can make it better, so Hell let's yeah. make it better. Because I love Dudesy. I love mm -hmm. making uh, this show with my pal Chal over here. Me too. And I love everyone. If you have tuned in, thank you so much. And thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing on your platform of choice uh, with regard to podcasts, hitting that notification uh, bell, doing all the things, especially the PODs of Pals of Dudesy out there who uh, enjoy shit like this. And that's yeah. why we do it. And that's the end of that sentence. Okay. So here we go. We're going to do, uh, I'm going to tune up my Arnold. <laughs> I don't know I why we wait. do this. I All can't right. All right. Okay. Here we go. Let's get this uh, Arnold into fighting shape. Yeah. Jesus, I'm thirsty. It's almost as if I ate a bunch of pizza sunflower seeds. Baseline. Baseline. Okay. Nine. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the fuck on. <laughs> I just got to read the, 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 the baseline words here. I know. Here. I'm sorry. Right. Nine, two, four. Asshole Aston. <laughs> Assumed Astrid acted astonished at Aston's aspirations <laughs> as an astrophysicist acting alone at the Aspen Asparagus Assembly. Sure. Okay. Uh, that was good. I hope he got some data out of that. Yeah, uh, limit breaking. Okay. Will, let's see how many times you can... Okay, say... Okay, let's see how many times you can say, yeah, as Arnold Schwarzenegger in a single breath. Chad, you count, then try again oh, and see Jesus. if you can beat it. Because I go, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Me, I don't know if I'll be able to count right. this accurately, Ready? but I'll do my best. Yeah, 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 ye
and we're living <laughs> here in Allentown. But the restlessness was handed down, and it's getting very hard to stay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shh. Oh, nice. Dun, dun. They're living here in Allentown. Okay, that's that's all of that. Sounds like Very you're good. trying to replace Billy Joel. <laughs> see? You see what happens? Yeah, dude. You see what happens when we do things? <laughs> you understand what happens here <laughs> with dudes? Yeah. Things happen. Okay. Okay. Situational awareness. Please do a brief impro- improvisational monologue as Arnold Schwarzenegger in the following situations. There's okay. three of these. Coming out of a movie theater in the middle of the day to sunlight so bright it temporarily blinds you and you accidentally get <laughs> hit by a car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I really enjoyed Avatar too. Ah, it's so bright outside. Hey, I forgot because they're inside the movie and the movie is so long. I forgot that it's the daytime, but it's still the afternoon. Hey, J- Jim Cameron, how many more Avatars do you need to make? You only oh. made the two Terminators and now you're making three and four and five oh. Avatars. That's too many avatars <laughs> to to hell he's just saying this to himself as he's stumbling around blinded by oh, the sunlight well, i'm getting kind of hungry look across the street there's a el pollo loco i guess i guess hit by that a car. was the car hit yeah. good stuff yeah good, dude uh number two waking up at 3 a.m craving your favorite pickled eggs but when you get to the fridge you discover your daughter's fiance is already there and he's He's eaten them all. Common. That's a very relatable situation. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. Hey, Russell. <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing? You're not eating my eggs. Those are my prized pickled eggs, you asshole. <laughs> I can only get those in one little shop in the Santa Barbara <laughs> to get those eggs. They're... Those are pizza flavored the pickled eggs. Sure. They taste like egg. They taste like pizza. And they taste like pickled. Yeah. Yeah, Russ. This is bullshit. <laughs> you can't marry my daughter anymore. <laughs> you get out of here. You get my eggs. I can't believe it. All right. Fucking Whatever. Russ. What a piece uh, of shit. Yeah, Rusty. Um, uh, being asked to give a speech at your eighth grade <laughs> geometry teacher's funeral. <laughs> You know the the, uh, the you know Mrs. Mrs. Gonzalez. She was an incredible teacher there to do geometry for me. When I came from Austria, I had the education, but then I had to relearn this stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh no, she's in you know in high school. Mrs. Gonzalez. She taught me about all the different uh, geometries, you know, that they have. There's so many. There's a parallelogram. (laughs) I knew it. I knew this shit was coming. The quadrilateral, (laughs) the cube, the sphere. (laughs) There's even shapes like a rectangle cube, you know, a circle. And uh, Ms. Ms. Gonzalez, uh, she taught me all of this. And now she's take her final resting place in a rectangular cuboid, the <laughs> sarcophagus shape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was good. That was great. Dude. Scene work. Please uh, read this. <laughs> oh, this is fucking silly stuff. Hold on a sec. Chad, don't burp. I'm taking a drink. I'm not even burping close to it. Careful, it's got carbonation in it. <laughs> Scene work. Please read this iconic monologue from Miranda Priestly in The Devil Wears Prada as Arnold Schwarzenegger. Of course, uh, oh, wow. that, that was Meryl Streep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is literally a fucking monologue from <laughs> The Devil Wears Prada. This stuff. <laughs> this is a classic scene. <laughs> This there's is, already, there's already like you're. I could see you, the duel between professional actor and Schwarzenegger impersonation happening right now. It's I great. I'm a professional actor by I trade. Know, I, I don't know. know if you know. You know, you, you pretend to be all sorts of things. You do. You pretend to pretend. Yeah, this man. And that. All right. This stuff. Oh, okay. I see. You think this has nothing to do with you? You, you go to your closet 
you select, oh, I don't know, that lumpy blue sweater, for instance. <laughs> because you're trying to tell the world that you take yourself too seriously to care about what you put on your back. But what you don't know is that that sweater is not just blue. It's not turquoise. It's not lapis. It's actually cerulean. <laughs> You're also blithely unaware of the fact that in 2002, Oscar de la Renta did a collection of cerulean gowns. <laughs> and then, I think it was Yves Saint Laurent, wasn't it? Who showered cerule who showed cerulean military jackets. I think we need a jacket here. And then cerulean quickly showed up in the collections of eight different designers. Then... It was filtered down through the department stores and then trickled down into some tragic casual corner where you, no doubt, fished it out of some clearance bin. However, that clue, that blue represents millions of dollars of countless jobs. And it's sort of comical how you think that you've made the choice that exempts you from the fashion industry when in fact you're wearing a sweater that was selected for you by the people in this room from a pile of stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on. Great, Thank you, Dee.